poop comes up this pipe. It enters this trough. Gets split into two trains. We call this train number one. We call this train number two. Each train does the exact same thing. It just allows the volume to be carried down equally. Allowing the process to take place at a slower rate. Comes into an anoxic area, meaning no air is added. Goes across this weir where it is aerated with bubblers located underneath the wastewater flow. Train number two does the exact same thing as train number one. This shows us what our dissolved oxygen level is within the train. The noise that you hear in the background are the blowers producing the air that permeates up through the wastewater. Just another aerated basin. At this point, we go from an outside system to an inside system, and we'll go inside in just one second. Inside here, the water is getting ready to be divided into three trains. Each train has cartridges that contain seaweed, and we will see that here in a little bit. Seaweed is a tubular filter that allows the clear water to enter and holds the solid material within the chamber. The clear water is then treated and sent out to its receiving waters. Currently, we are cleaning the seaweed. Over the course of time, it gets cotton, strings, adult diapers, and other materials gathered up on the top side of those strands.
this is a time lapse of what we have to do to clean that debris out of those strands. <laughs> All right, Gloria, what are you doing here? I'm repairing the membrane Z-weed strands with Shinitsu silicone. In another lifetime, I probably should have been a hairdresser. <laughs> I've got scissor skills. So you're finding the ones that are leaking air and cutting them off and filling them with silicone, right? That's correct. <laughs> Joe said no. Nah. A little dabble do ya. A little dabble do ya. A brew crew. A little dabble do ya. I can do some brew then. <laughs> 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 Woo! Look at that Woo. noggin. <laughs>